Are you looking for the perfect gift for the guitarist in your life? Well, tune into tonight's episode as we cover 10 amazing gifts for under $100 that will make every guitarist eyes light up this holiday season. Have you ever looked at all the gear musicians use and wonder, how does it all work? My name's Dustin and my family and I are setting out on a quest to inspire both adult and kid musicians to create new sounds together and learn all about what it takes to produce great music. We'd like to invite you along on the journey as we explore the gear professional studios, musicians, and hobbyists use to create their art. We'll take a close-up look at the gear and ask, What's this button do? Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of What's This Button Do? I'm your host Dustin and this week we are doing a very special episode inspired by my wife. She came to me a couple weeks ago and was like, "Hun, you are one of the hardest people to buy for. What would you like for Christmas? And I did not know the answer to that question. I always struggle with that. Um, and I was just like, well, some cool things for the guitar. And she looked at me with a blank face like, um, what does that mean? I need you to be more specific. So I started thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? That is really hard for people who you know, have a guitarist in their life. Maybe they want to get them something different and cool, but they have no idea what to get them. So uh, she kind of inspired this, and I thought what I would do is put together a top 10 things that I think would make great gifts for a guitarist that are all under around the $100 mark or less, so they won't break the bank, but they're just fun things that I think any guitarist could use. So I hope this helps you out. What I'll do is I'll put some links down below in the notes, and we'll just kind of walk through each of them one at a time. I'll tell you a little bit about them, why I think they're good gifts, and then I'll, I'll leave it in your court. Uh, if you have somebody special for the holidays that you'd like to get a present for, I think any of these that I'm about to list would make great gifts, and I hope they'll like them as much as I do. So let's dive in. I'm gonna bring them up on the screen so that you can see links to some of the different sites, uh, but I will also put the links down below in the uh, notes section of the video. So feel free, any of these, I'm, I'm not paid for any of these, I'm not sponsored by any of this, so I don't get any income, there's no skin in my game for sending you these, so please uh, don't worry about that. Uh, these are literally just from the bottom of my heart, something I think everybody can use. So we're gonna start off with probably the coolest thing that I got this year, um, and it is something that has helped me a ton, especially if you have a guitarist in your life that maybe they've been playing for a little while, but they don't have a full grasp of music theory, or maybe they just want to better themselves. Um, I was a self-taught musician, so I, I never had formal education on music. And so sometimes trying to figure out what chords go together and, and what shapes go together, and I keep hearing about this uh, uh, circle of fifths chart thing, and I've read tons of books on it, and it still never clicked with me. And then uh, I one day kind of stumbled across this uh, online. It's a book and a decoder by a company called Noisy Clan. And you can see it here on the screen. Uh, this is a link to their website. It's a very, very simple device. What they do here is you basically pick the key of the song that you're writing in. So you just kind of turn this little circle to whatever key you want to write in. And then what's really fun is on the back, it tells you a little idea for a chord progression using kind of the Nashville numbering system. And what that really means is you'll see these little numbers down here. It'll say like the first chord in the key is F. The second one is the G minor. The third is the A minor. The fourth is the B sharp. The five, or sorry, B flat. Um, the fifth is C. And then the sixth is D minor. And then the seventh is E diminished, which just really, really cool how it lays them all out there for you and gives you some ideas of what you can play. And then what's really neat is it also gives you like, these chords up here are all gonna sound really good together no matter what. These down here will sound cool, but they may be a little different. They may change the mood of the song a little bit. So it's kind of giving you some ideas of, okay, here's some other things that you can play with it that'll sound good. But these five, if you focus on these five, that's gonna be the core of any song that you play, you can play those and they sound together. And what's funny is you'll notice these notes over here, for any of you who know music theory, no, these are not necessarily notes that are in that key, but these are notes that actually are key adjacent that you can add to make your songs a little bit more interesting and a little bit different. It's really fun. So if you just play these five notes and ignore everything else, you can really make some interesting music that's not the typical thing that you hear every day in pop music. And they have a little guide that comes with it. These things are like $25. It is a very inexpensive present and one that honestly changed my songwriting. It has made things fun in practice. 
I think that is one of the best purchases that I have ever made. So that would be my number one suggestion for a gift, hands down. Now, something else that's come up that I'm going to put in at number two, and this is something that I am uh, secretly hoping it's in my list as well. So for my wife, if she watches this video, this is one of my things. Um, a friend of mine showed me this amazing thing, very similar to this when I was showing him the Noisy Clan. He pulled up this chord file system. And it's there's two different versions. There's a Progressions and a Dark Harmony, but you can buy them together as a pack. And I think uh, the price points are very similar. For the individuals, they're in the mid-20s. If you buy the whole set, it's like $45. But there are these little files. And what you do, if I'll zoom in on one so you can kind of see it up close. Let's click on it here on the link. Of course, my internet's going to go a little bit slow right now while I'm doing this. But what you'll see is these little sliders over here allow you to slide this chart up and down. So you set the key of the song that you're writing, and then you slide this up and all these notes will change. And it kind of shows you different progressions and different orders that you can try out to see how they sound together. And they have them in the dark harmonies are kind of a little bit darker side of the music. The other is a little bit brighter music. So depending on the mood you're trying to capture in your song, this gives you some ideas of different ways to do that. So super fun, super different. Again, something that's inspirational. That's what this is all about is just creating inspiration, something fun to get you out of the normal rut. I learned the pentatonic scale when I first started out. And it is so hard when that's what you've learned and what you've ingrained in, and that's how so many musicians start out. You just find yourself naturally gravitating back to that all the time. This lets you change it up and do something different without repeating the same old, same old all the time. So both of these sets, absolutely love. I think these would make great presents for any musician in your life, and especially guitarists. It's really gonna help with writing songs. Now, the third piece that I want to show you is one of my favorite pedals of the year. And full story here, I'm going to be a little biased. Now, I have no skin in this game whatsoever, but there's a company called uh, Santona, which is a local uh, Kansas City company. Um, I got a chance to meet Eric over there at the uh, Palin Music Store he was in showing off some things. And he had this little pedal that they had created called the Uno. And I will tell you, I looked at it. I'm not a mini pedal guy and mini pedals have never really done much for me. And I was like, oh, that's cute. Like it's a neat little looking pedal. Um, wonder what it does. And he said, oh, it's a drive. And I'm like, oh Lord, I have 5 billion drives. I, I don't need another drive. Um, he plugged it in and Spencer over at Palin started playing and my jaw dropped. I was like, turn that off again, turn it back on. This pedal sweetened the sound that was in that room by a hundred times. It was one of the most beautiful, gorgeous sounds and took my breath away. And it can be subtle, it can be heavy drive. Uh, we're gonna do a full demo on this in two weeks time. So come back on the show and, and I'll give you a full demo on it. But I will tell you right now, very few people have heard of this because this just launched. This is uh, around a hundred dollar pedal. It's not super expensive. Um, you can find them at Palin Music or on on uh, Santona's website. Um, it is, it's just, such a great product. I can't say enough good things about it. Um, and for the money, it's one of the least expensive pedals out there on the market, but I think bang for the buck what you get, it's amazing and it plays nice with other pedals. So if if the guitarist in your life is big into pedals and has a whole bunch of pedals, you don't have to worry. This will play nice with those pedals, but give them something that they genuinely probably do not have. I, I've yet to find a boost slash drive pedal that really does what this one does. I really don't even... I hesitate to say boost or drive. It's not really either of those. It's almost like a tone saturator. It just gives you this really, really cool thing. So come back in a couple of weeks, you'll see the full demo of it, but highly encourage you if you can get your hands on one of these, these make fantastic gifts. And I'm guessing the guitarist in your life has not seen this yet. So they'll probably be really excited. I'll put a link to their website up on the, uh, uh, they're down in the notes below, sorry. Up next, we have the thing that I think every, absolutely every guitarist needs. And this is one, it's a brand that I'm going to be honest with you, I ignored when I first started playing guitar. I thought they were a company that just made cheap products because you saw them in every store out there. It's a brand called Music Nomad. I thought, well, these can't be that good. And then I, I, I passed on for several years. And then um, a few years ago, my wife picked up this little kit for me. And when you open it up, it's got a little screwdriver, a whole bunch of different screw heads, and this little tool right here, which happens to be one of the most ingenious tools you'll ever seen. It's actually a wrench, 
but it allows you to pop off the knobs on your guitar because it has this little felt on the back to protect the guitar without scratching the finish on the guitar. And then this is designed to unscrew all those little hexagonals uh, nuts that are on the guitar. So around your uh, uh, input jack, around the knobs themselves. So if you need to change things on your guitar, change the wiring, this will allow you to do that. And these are all the most common screw head types that are affiliated with guitars. So that blew my mind. Like just the fact that Music Nomad had that, I was like, wow, that's really cool. And then I kind of went down a rabbit hole with all of their products because the selection that they have is absolutely nuts. So I'll, I'll show you here on the screen. They've got frying polish, which is fret polish to allow you to, to make your frets last a little bit longer. They have all sorts of cleaners. They have these little kits that are fret polishing kits so you can scrub down your frets every time you're cleaning your guitar. They have oils and polishes and all sorts of tool kits to allow you to clean. They even have the string gauge changing kits. So when you're changing your strings, it allows you to have a little winder in there to make it a little bit easier on you. The cutters that you would need. Any of these little kits, I will tell you from, for any of you who have no experience with guitars, we as guitarists could use all of this stuff. There's not a product that Music Nomad has made that I've run into that I've been like, mm, nope, I don't see any use for that. I've found a use for everything here. So anything under that brand, I would highly recommend. But I think my top top choices would be the string changing kit, the uh, uh, screwdriver kit, and then they also have an Allen wrench kit that is super handy because it has all of the different truss rod sizes that you would normally find on guitars. And truss rod adjustment is one of the most important things that you do when you set up a guitar. And so many guitarists are afraid to do it because they're afraid they don't have the right size wrench or they're gonna tweak it the wrong way and break it. This makes things so much easier and so much more stable as you're tweaking your guitar's truss rod. I will highly encourage anybody to pick those up. So don't shy away from that brand. Again, I've got no skin in this game. They're not paying me to say this, but I just absolutely love Music Nomad products. I would highly recommend any of these, but those toolkits especially, that makes the perfect Christmas gift or stocking stuffer or just a holiday gift for a friend. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend those. All right, up next, we have what might be the simplest thing, and you're all going to laugh at me, and any guitarist who's watching this is going to be like, Oh, Dustin, no, I don't need another tuner in my life. But we all secretly know, yes, you do. Because we're all losing these constantly. These little snark tuners, every guitarist has one. They are one of the most handy and actually really good tuners. They work really, really well. This snark brand stuff, I'm, I'm a huge fan of theirs. Um, you can get all sorts of version. I pulled them up on Pale Insight here so you can see them. They've got super tight ones. They've got chromatic ones, all sorts of different colors. But something that is not on Pale Insight right now, but it is available through Palin and it's also available uh, through Snark directly, is they have just launched the Snark Titanium, which I thought was the biggest gimmick I had ever seen. And then I actually went and used one the other day and I was so blown away by it. It has this, these little rubber pieces on the back of it that are supposed to reflect sound away. So especially when you're in a live band environment or you're playing your acoustic guitar in a crowded room, say a coffee shop or something where there's a lot of noise, sometimes all that noise around because the snark is sensing, sensing the vibrations but also the sound coming out of your guitar, um, sometimes all that extra noise can really mess with that, especially if it's anything that's shaking things. This actually is supposed to make the sound bounce away from that so it can just focus on your guitar itself. And I will say, I tried them side by side. I put one of these on and I put one of those on and it actually did give me a more accurate tuning using the titanium. It was really awesome. It, it worked great. So no gimmick there. I genuinely saw it work with my own eyes, so I can highly suggest it. And again, we're not talking about breaking the bank here. These things are 15 to $25. So great gifts. Everyone can use them. Everyone always needs an extra one to throw in their bag or in their kit. So don't be afraid. If, even if you know uh, your friend or, or your loved one has a tuner, trust me, we need these. <laughs> like We hardly will ever ask for them because we know we already have one and we won't go buy another one for ourselves, but we can use them. We can always use another tutor. So highly, highly recommend those as a gift as well. Next on the docket, we have something else that I find to be um, tricky to shop for, let's say to say the least. Um, but if you really want to impress your guitarist or your musician that's in your life, with something that is heartfelt and fun and different, think about buying them a strap. And the reason I say this is straps are a highly personal thing in the guitar community. Um, there are some guitarists out there that couldn't care less about what strap they throw on. They just grab whatever handy 
cheapo strap came with their guitar and they throw it on and they're good to go. But a lot of guitarists spend time figuring out what kind of stripe or what kind of strap says their personality, what stripe of type of uh, strap is fun and different and catches people's eyes on stage or that just brings them some joy because let's face it, with music, it's all about playing and creativity and having fun. And for me personally, I love straps. I love different colors, crazy patterns, things that I can put on. And I feel like I'm inspired by them by just, if I see myself or I look down and I see this strap with lots of colors and lots of fun ideas, I get excited. And I know an audience reaction when you see somebody with a cooler looking strap on, you're like, this is gonna be fun. These people are fun. These are not boring old cookie cutter bands. They're having fun with their music. So I love a good strap. A couple of my favorite brands I thought I would share with you uh, on Palin site, they have a brand called Mother Mary and these guys are out of St. Louis, Missouri. They do an amazing job with fun, different style tra uh, straps that most people have never seen before. They do really crazy patterns and you can see like, I'll kind of scroll through a few of these. I love the ends where they're attached to the guitars are usually kind of a cool painted splatter look. They have a lot of different fun designs that just blow your mind. I still love, I call this the Doctor Who scarf strap. I think that is one of the coolest looking ones. But the fun thing here is if you know your guitarist, this is a fun way to, to show them like, I see you, I think you would like this. This is something fun I think you would enjoy. Or if you see their guitar that they play a lot, then take a look and see if you can find a strap that kind of matches or accents that guitar and looks really cool. It will make them so much happier and fun. And let me tell you, as somebody who's received straps as gifts, it's also one of those things that I like to look back on and I think, hey, you know, my son got this for me. And there's this special memory attached to that. It's something you'll never throw away. It's not something you'll never get rid of. It's something that brings a memory. And if a loved one gave me a strap for Christmas, I'm going to use that strap. Even if it's the ugliest Christmas sweatery strap you could imagine, I would still use it because it, it means something special to me. Now, a couple other brands that I absolutely love is, uh, the first one is a brand called JKCO and they are based here in Kansas city. Um, these guys are amazing. They use old seatbelt leather straps. Um, so they're really thin and it's kind of a broken in feel to them. Um, so the seatbelt leather really isn't the right word to it. Um, they're softer. They, they have this like broken in leather quality. Um, and they don't hurt your body. I, I will say they are the most comfortable straps that I've ever worn because there's no stiffness to them. There's this beautiful leather feel and it's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it gets away from that seatbelt thought. I don't know why I said seatbelt a few seconds ago, but um, it, it gets you into this just like you don't even realize you're wearing a strap on your body. Even if you put a heavy guitar onto it, it kind of molds and takes the shape of your shoulder blade. So you just don't feel it pulling on you like so many other straps out there. So I will highly recommend any, any of these. I love some of their crazy patterns, like the little waving kitties, like you can see here, but they've got paisleys. They've got really cool designs and they're always coming out with some new crazy idea. So I'll put a link to their site down here so you can check them out. But again, not very expensive, beautiful quality, wonderful job. And last but not least, probably the most expensive straps, but one of my favorites is actually a strap company from overseas. This is a company called Singing Crane. Now I will say these take a little bit to get to the US. So if you want to get one of these, I would order them quickly if they need to be here by Christmas time. Time. But what they do is they take um, old silk kimonos and that have been tattered and ripped apart and they salvage them and turn them into gu guitar straps and every single one of them is one of a kind. So you will never find two that look identical and they get the most beautiful, gorgeous patterns. I'll scroll through a few of them here so you can see them. They're just amazing, absolutely gorgeous. Every strap I've ever received from them has blown my mind and they're comfortable, great to use. Um, I will swear by them. I, I believe they truly are one of the most amazing companies and their packaging, I wish I still had some here. They fold it in a crepe paper and they put a little origami swan or different uh, item with it. So when you open your package, you get this beautiful wrapping and then you get this gorgeous origami piece to display as well with it. So it makes a phenomenal gift because when people open them, it just blows their mind. Cannot say enough good things about them. Absolutely awesome company. All right, next up, you know me, I'm not gonna leave pedals off of here. I already gave you one, I gotta give you another one. And this one I'm gonna keep under $100. You've already heard me talk about this if you've been following the show this year. This is a $99 fuzz from Walrus Pedals. Um, I'm a huge fuzz fan. You guys know that I am a nerd for fuzz. Um, 
This little pedal for being under $100 blew my mind when I did the test of it. The gated fuzz on here sounds absolutely killer. If you've got a relative or family member who plays Jimi Hendrix covers or any kind of rock and roll where they need to get a little of that grittier fuzzy tone from like the 70s and the, and the 90s, highly, highly recommend this. Um, for, you know, a clean musician who's, you know, playing a lot of Southern gospel, things like that, and they don't really get drivey or fuzzy, they may not be into that, but anybody who's into more of that rocky, sputtery, fuzzy sound, um, you can go back and look at a couple episodes back. You'll actually see a demonstration of, it's called the Walrus Fundamental Fuzz. Just look at that on our channel and you'll see it. Um, but it'll give you some ideas of the sounds. But if, if your musician is into that kind of sound, I cannot suggest a better fuzz pedal for less than $100. It will blow people's minds. And it's just got great drive sounds in it all around. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. All right, next couple of things. These are actually something that I have been given as gifts from my wife a couple times, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Every time I get one, I get so excited when I see a little package from her. I'm like, oh, tell me that's another one of these. There is a company, again, from overseas called Huffschmidt, and Huffschmidt makes picks, and they call them plectrums over there. Um, but they do not make normal, everyday picks that you would go to, to Palin and buy. Um, they make all of their picks out of unique materials, and they are crazy, wild designs. Most of them are not thin. They are super thick, so I'll show you a couple of them. One of my favorites is one that has this little glow-in-the-dark stone in there. So when you're in the dark, this actually glow glows a bright green, and you can see it's super thick. These are great for musicians that have arthritis. My family has a history of rheumatoid arthritis, so it is very hard when, when that's flaring up for me to be able to hold a pick real tight and pick. These you can hold with your whole hand and pick along with that, and it's so much more comfortable to hold. Plus, they make a really interesting sound when you actually attack the strings. You hear this little bit of a percussive attack that can be used really, really cool in songs to really come through, especially on an acoustic guitar or a bass. And bass players absolutely love these too. Um, one of my favorites, they still sell on the site, is a little granite look. And I'll kind of scroll through uh, some of what they have on there. You can see all these really cool patterns. They do all sorts of really neat materials and stuff that you would never see before. And so I would almost guarantee you, the guitarist in your life, has never seen these, has never played on them. This honeycomb one is one of my favorites. I have one of those too. Um, absolutely love them. But these are so unique and so different and something fun that I think s does not break the bank. Most of these are in that $25 to $35 range. So for a pick, they're expensive, absolutely. But this is, again, something nobody's going to throw away because it's unique and different and it's something you can use on recordings to achieve different sounds and different looks. Um, one of the most interesting materials is actually, I'll scroll back up here. Um, this is a material called Torlon, and they kind of talk about it here. It's basically a thermoplastic that was used for uh, space engineering, and this stuff is indestructible. It will last forever. So I've had this pick. This is one of the first picks that Jenny ever bought me, and I bet I have used this for hundreds of hours, and it is not worn down at all. It still looks the same as it did when it was brand new. It's amazing. This stuff just does not wear out. So absolutely love these. They're fun. They're different. They're unique. And again, it's just something that I don't think the musician in your life has probably ever seen. I think you'll have a blast with that. Check out the link below. Now, last couple things on the low end. Um, there is another thing that I, I am not a big country music guy. I think most of you know that I've always been more of a rock and roll guy, but there is this sweet spot. I love hearing a good slide guitar and you'll hear slide on rock and roll albums. You'll hear it on country. You'll hear it on pop slide has become such a neat thing. Um, but most guitarists, when they first learn guitar have no idea how to play slide. And so we never really get into it unless we grew up in that environment. Um, a few years back, a friend of mine got me this, uh, D'Addario Rich Robinson, uh, blast slide. It was, it was before it was a Rich Robinson. It's just a basic, uh, uh, brass slide style. Um, this changed my life. I started exploring alternative tunings and learning how slide guitar works. And I will tell you, for somebody who's new and learning out, or maybe for somebody who's uh, guard arthritis, where it's a little hard for them to chord and a little hard for them to push down on the frets, a slide makes things so much easier. So you can take a slide, throw it on your finger, and then you basically just slide your hand up and down the neck of the guitar. And because of the way you tune the guitar, you're creating chords on just by just holding down or holding this above the strings on certain frets. It is so much fun. 
hours of entertainment. You can make some amazing music within a few minutes of picking it up, but it's also one of the hardest things to master. So it's one of those things that I think helps a, a musician to get better and helps a guitarist especially to explore something outside the normal comfort zone to get out there and try an alternative tuning or try to do something a little different than maybe they're not too comfortable with. It's just a fun way to encourage them to try something new. Um, and if you don't like the D'Addario's and if you got bigger hands like I do, uh, one of my favorite brands is a brand called the Rock Slide. And that was actually the one I was showing you. They cut, it's kind of hard to see this, they cut a little indenture in the slide itself. So when you put it on, first of all, it's curved right here. So your knuckle can bend with it, which I think is just a genius invention. A lot of these slides are just round pieces of glass. So your finger just stays perfectly straight. This allows you to bend your finger. And then this little groove in here, you stick your other finger right next to it in that little groove. And that helps you to stabilize it as you're moving up and down the neck. One of the most clever inventions out there. So again, another brand that I highly suggest is that rock slide brand. And now, that's nine of my top 10 favorite pieces for under $100 that I think any guitarist would enjoy. But number 10 is gonna go a little bit outside the box. Um, and I hate that I'm showing you an Amazon link here, but unfortunately this is where I had to get it at. But um, uh, this is a book that absolutely changed my life. Um, this is called uh, No Bull, Music Theory for Guitarists. There's a collection of, there's three individual books, but they've now collected them into one massive book. This thing is like 35 bucks, brand new. Um, and I'm sure you can find a used copy as well. This book, where I have read tons of music theory books, and I have struggled to understand music theory because I never had an instructor. Um, this is the first book that absolutely explain things in layman's terms that made sense to me, that made things start to click. And I usually like, I haven't played for a while, usually skip the first couple chapters in a, in a new music book. Cause you're like, oh, it's gonna teach you how to tune the guitar and all the basics. I don't really need to know that. This actually made me want to read those first pages because they explain things that were simple that I've always known, but I never knew why. I liked that or why it sounded like that. This explains it in layman's terms and you're like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have known that 20 years ago, how this relates to this. Phenomenal, phenomenal book. I cannot recommend it enough for any, any musician and guitarist out there. This will change your life. I urge you, don't skip through it, read it. It's, it's a long read, it's gonna take you some time, but give this to the guitarist in your life and tell them to spend a little time with it. I promise them it is worth it. For, for even the most seasoned veteran, you're gonna learn something in this book. Um, it really is, it's, it's the book that changed my life. So. Okay, so I hope those 10 items really give you a good idea of something. There's gotta be something in there for every guitarist. Um, feel free down below in the comments, if you have questions on these, um, need some help trying to find one to get if you're picking out a strap something, uh, make a comment down below. Call the team at Palin too. Most of this stuff is available through them, not everything, but a lot of it. Um, they can give you suggestions too on like the right strap for the right guitar, depending on what they're doing. You can take pictures if you sneak a little picture of, of your loved one's uh, guitar, send it to them. I'm sure they would be glad to help, but I will be too. Feel free to send me an email uh, down below or just comment in the comments and I can give you some tips and tricks and ideas of things that, to help surprise them uh, that they might like. Just give me the type of music they play or, or what they're playing and I'll, I'll be glad to kind of point you in the right direction. Now there's one last thing I'd like to cover now that we've covered my top 10. Um, I promised I'd keep everything under $100 for that, but uh, for those who maybe want to spend a little bit more uh, on your special someone for the holidays, uh, I wanted to give you a couple other recommendations that were a little outside that $100 mark, but still weren't break the bank crazy. Um, the first thing I'd like to talk about is the LSL pedals. Um, for anybody who knows that you, your guitarist loves pedals, um, there is a new brand out there, which is not really a new brand to the industry. LSL has been making amazing guitars for years, but a few months ago on the show, I started demoing the new pedal series that they just launched. And this is a relatively new thing for them, but being a, a pedal geek myself, I ordered all four of these um, and was just absolutely blown away. So I cannot recommend them enough, especially the Claro Boost, because this I found um, has, everybody I've shown it to has found a use for it. So I know it's one of the most versatile pedals out there. Um, so I wanted to show these because these are about $200. But the fun thing with LSL pedals is because they are so new, most of the guitarists out there don't know about them yet or haven't had a chance to play them. So it would be something fun and different uh, that I think the guitarists in your life would love. Now, I'm partial to the Claro Boost, but I will say 
The Lucid OG seems to be the most popular. It's kind of their take on a really famous pedal called the Klon. Um, think of the sounds that you hear like uh, uh, from most of your major rock musicians. Uh, John Mayer is a huge fan of them. Um, but you can use this in so many different ways. It gives you a ton of different uh, options. Almost every musician out there um, that, that's into guitar pedals will have some version of a Klon. But this is really popular. And for those who like more distortion, think like a rock tone or a grunge kind of rock feel. The uh, Vital DS pedal does an amazing job for that. So if your if your guitarist in your life is more of that kind of genre, um, I would definitely get them the Vital DS. I think they would really enjoy it and have a lot of fun with it. Um, and then last but not least, uh, there is a pedal that we have not discussed on the show, um, and I, I really even hesitate to call it a pedal. Um, next week, our episode is going to be strictly on this uh, new pedal or this new new item. Um, so please come back and check this out next week. But since we were doing this episode, I wanted to highlight it because I. Really really do feel like this is a tool that every guitarist can use. Uh, this is a, a thing called the Two Notes Opus by uh, a brand called Two Notes. And it's not really a pedal. You'll notice there's no buttons or foot switches on here. What this is, is essentially a emulator that acts like an amplifier and a uh, direct box to be able to record your guitar playing. But what's really neat is it's so much more. This actually allows, um, if you have a guitar, but maybe you don't have an amplifier, um, maybe you don't have a uh, computer system to record yourself, you just have a camera or your cell phone. This actually has um, inputs and outputs for you to be able to listen to yourself play through headphones. So for a starter who's practicing, maybe you're in an apartment complex and you can't have an amplifier, you need to th keep things quiet, but you wanna sound like you're playing through a rock and roll amplifier, you can actually use this box to create that sound and it has so many different amazing sounds in it and you can record directly through this thing. You can use it to emulate all sorts of really, really cool tones and it just works fantastic for what it is for a $300 item. I think it's simply one of the best tools for any guitarist that travels um, or to use it in a home environment where they have to stay nice and quiet. It's way better than buying yourself an amp because you don't have to worry about waking up the neighbors, but you can still get all those sounds and all, all that uh, fuzz and be able to still be able to record with it if you want to. So I wanted to highlight that because I do think it's a really good piece. It's just a little bit more expensive, so it's not in everybody's budget. But hopefully all of this said... You found something here today that you can use for gift giving. Like I said before, please reach out. If you have any questions at all, I'm glad to help out. Next week, we'll dive more in depth with the Two Notes Opus. I think that is going to be really, really fun. I hope you'll join us back then. I'm going to run it through both an electric and an acoustic. So we'll hear how that sounds with both settings because I've really found in just the short period of time that I've had it, it works great with both. So I'm blown away by that. But we'll show that off next week. Well, thank you all so much for coming out to see us this weekend. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you're watching this live. Enjoy yourself this week. Spend time with family, friends, and loved ones. Have fun, and I'll look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you so much. Take care.